coming up today on The Spiel. And girls just want to have fun, don't they, you agree? They, isn't that not the cutest? I mean, this guy right here, Cade Cockburn, thank you so much for coming out. So I was over, so I was over it till last night. The kind Poppy, I actually named it after my dad. So my dad, his name is Michael, but I've always called him Poppy ever since I've been a little girl. Now, we have a treat for you. Yes. Okay? There she is. There's the treat. Look what a treat she is. Autumn Reynolds is here. Well, we do have a burger called the Jack Mac. What is that? Well, it's like a Big Mac, but it's our stuff. So we'll take this, we'll smash her down. Would you look at that? The smashing technique as seen here and featured in magazines nationwide. This is the spiel. Welcome to the spiel. I just want to say today's show is going to rock your socks off because, are you ready? Oh, it's kind of a young show today. It is. A, is it a young show? It is a young show, as in uh, a 17 year old incredible singer songwriter from Nashville. With a lot of followers, don't oh she? Gosh. I mean, like, she's got a cult following, I think. I know. Because she's really pretty. I know. And she's really talented. Yes, that helps. She is. That, that helps. That, yeah, she got the double whammy right there. Mm -hmm. Also, too, we've got an interesting little feller. He's 17 years old, too, and he has a goat. Connoisseur. Connoisseur means He's you eat them. He's a goat connoisseur. That no, means it you just means you, them, no, it, it means you know everything. It does not mean so that you eat them. Rob, no, Rob connoisseur does not mean me. that you eat the goats. No. Extraordinaire. He is an extraordinaire. That's He's a connoisseur word. of all things goat. <laughs> and not just any goat, Nigerian goats. Let me tell you something. Like prize winning Nigerian I goats. I kind of spoke to him off camera a while ago. Yeah. People eat goats. And well, he's gonna, yeah, they do. Yeah, that's the yiro, isn't it? And the meat, or is that lamb usually? Lamb or goat is We're the yiro. We're going to ask him. Yeah. They, Are we going to cut that little? No, and they milk them, <laughs> and you can you can drink the milk, and you can win awards. And apparently, um, the the birthing season or the um, coming in, you know, it, it's here. Uh, breeding, breeding. You know, they got to do that. And then well, he, after, he's high they tech. They birth after breeding. I don't know if you knew that. This is going to be a great show. It really is. <laughs> and, you know, the other thing that we're dedicating this show to is kindness and, yes. and, and doing for other people and the difference that that can make. You may think it's a very small act, but it is so important. From your smile, when you see someone can brighten their day to yes. the biggest thing you can do for someone. Well, I have a gift for you today. You do? Yep. Hey, guys, is it the raise I've been looking for? It is not, no. Oh, Those okay. contracts would not be re renegotiated in 2020. Have you heard? Is it something I can connoisseur? Yeah. Connoisseur, you can't eat it. Can't no, eat you it. can't eat okay. it. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring on a young lady who is impacting my life. She can impact yours. She can impact all of yours at home. Um, Autumn Reynolds, she's going to teach us how to just stay in shape. Nothing too major. And we're doing it well before the new year. We're just oh, doing it randomly. Trying to get ready to eat the Christmas goodies. What's up with eat? I mean, we got a great chef in today. Is that what you want to focus on? Just the, the eating yes. and the the okay. Yes. The, the founder there, the the maker, the the connoisseur of the smashed burger. That's the word for the day. Connoisseur. Connoisseur. Yeah, that's it. And it does not mean to eat things. No. Rob, can you what give her of? the definition of connoisseur, please? And we are waiting. The music is playing. Connoisseur. Here we go. An expert, an authority on... Well, see, I used it right then. Why did he laugh so No, you hard? said, what does that mean? To eat something? Or we just eat it? Well, I thought you could share it with me. An expert judge in matters of taste. It could mean a connoisseur of music, a connoisseur taste. of exercise, Get it? a connoisseur taste. of dwarf goats. They go together. Style. Of style. Style. Of grace. I'm a connoisseur so of great grilled food, which we're going to see later. Yes, we are. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Hey, there's still a lot more of this show to come. Well, I want an animal that's going to be a strong, productive dairy animal. Okay. Um, so when I look at them, I want them to be able to produce over a long period of time, have that feminine dairy elegance. Okay. So that's what we breed for. We want to have a correct, productive udder on those animals so that they can sustain that milk production over their entire life. Coming up later... Run Girl was like in the top 40 of the music row breakout chart. Yeah, that was my Gosh. first single out. That and is amazing. You know what? The last, the one you did on the show is going to go way up there. You yeah. know that. That was, that was amazing. I love doing this every day. Working here really gives me a sense of purpose. You know that you're going to be able to go to Ray Clinic and be able to be seen, not worry about it being shut down or anything like that. No one is turned away 
because the whole purpose isn't about you know money and the bottom line. The, the whole purpose is being here so that we can help people. Everyone deserves care. Everyone deserves access to it there. And I don't care you know, who you are, where you're coming from there. You're going to get the best care that I can give every time. Be safe. Stay strong. C-R-H-P-C. And girls just want to have fun. Don't they, you agree? They, isn't that not the cutest? Frolicking I in the field. I love that. I tell you what. I mean, this guy right here, Goat Gab had him. I mean, that popular podcast. Now we've got him, everybody. Cade Cockburn, thank you so much for coming out. I'm glad to be here. And letting us wear your ribbons. Yes. Hey, what did I win? What was this? Best Owen Show. Best Doe oh, I in see Show. That. You oh, heard gosh. it right here on the show. I'm field. afraid. Your grand yes. champion. Oh. Just how one can lower. I pick Oh, one lower? Just one lower than Best in Show. Okay, okay. Oh, it's lower? <laughs> I'm gonna take that See? back. <laughs> Much better. She just took that snap back back. Okay, I got a question. This is so right great. Right out All right, get, get after it. Why goats? I mean, you're a little guy, you say, Mom and Dad, I want to go. Why goats? Not only just Nigerian goats. Sorry yeah. not to interrupt you. Dwarfs. Now, that answer, I can't tell you, but I just know that ever since I could talk, goats was always something I'd wanted. I'd always ask my parents, can I please have my own barn full of goats? And being people with full-time jobs and other responsibilities, they told little seven-year-old me, no, that's, you know, that'll be too much work. You don't want that responsibility. But right. I took matters into my own hands, we joke. How did that come about, your matters in your own hands? Well, when I was in second grade, I came down with a deadly bacterial infection. And it wow. almost took my life three separate times. And one of those times that I was laying there on that bed lifeless in St. Louis, my dad said to me, if you will just get better, I will get you those goats. And he went, oh, what? better, Dad. And they didn't even know that I heard them. And a couple days later, I woke up and I'm like, Somebody say we were getting some goats, and they probably regretted saying that oh, at the that time. Oh, that's all. You know, but terrible I've never that you had to go since through then. that. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. I mean, you've you've gotten these. They're not only the Nigerian dwarf goats, the dairy goats, but they're champion. And, Correct. And it, it probably takes a little bit of work to get them it to does. that stage. Yes. So just a regular goat won't do it for you. No. You have to have a no. champion. What makes a champion? Uh, there's a whole scorecard. There's a 100 point scorecard that they have to meet. So we really work to make them meet that scorecard in the breed standard and okay. we breed for what the judges want. Speaking of, what do judges look for? Well, we want, as you see this milk here, we want an animal that will be productive and that can sustain itself over a long period of life. Okay. So you want to have good dairy strength, correct body capacity, and you also want to have that general appearance that just pops when they walk by. And most importantly, you want to have a correct udder. Because that's the business end of oh, the goat. Oh, the other. The, that's the, the business end of the goat. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's so interesting because this is really high tech. Um, you say walk by, but there's some videos on your uh, Facebook there where they're actually, they appear to hop. Mm -hmm. I mean, do they really walk or do they just hop? It's both. Okay. Because the I hopping was, is cute. I was asking you now, when you get a bunch of the little babies out there, which is coming in spring, yes. mm -hmm. uh, 100 you're kind of looking for, right? 80 or so. Yeah. Is it going to be really noisy as they're out there bleeding? Uh, not really, no. Just when I open the back door and they're ready to be fed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, you know. Did you not catch my word? I, I, did you say bleeding? Bleating. 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 That means making that noise, a bunch of How them. does it sound like that? Not quite like that. Okay. Okay. How does it sound? She's getting better. <laughs> Excellent. You know, you're, I mentioned before, it's a high-tech operation. I mean, you can follow along. You have a website. It's cadeslilfarm.com since 2011, mm -hmm. I understand. And, um, I mean, the breeding season is underway, but, I mean, you're talking about AI, artificial insemination. You've got the ultrasound there. I mean, these dwarf mamas, they're performing for you. Mm -hmm. Talk about what it is that you look for and how this all comes to fruition? Well, I want an animal that's going to be a strong, productive dairy animal. Okay. Um, so when I look at them, I want them to be able to produce over a long period of time, to have that feminine dairy elegance. Okay. So that's what we breed for. We want to have a correct, productive udder on those animals so that they can sustain that milk production over their entire life. And how many babies are they carrying at one time? Anywhere from one to four. Okay. okay. And you can tell. You can see all of this. You can plan yep. ahead. Mm -hmm. Is it by the udders they have? No. No, babe. but the, the more kids you get, normally the more milk you get. Okay. Oh. Speaking of the milk, is it like we're going to taste it? We're going to go, oh, that's goat milk. Mm -hmm. Is it? Or are we going to, wow, that's. Most people are actually surprised that it tastes a lot like just whole milk from the store. Really? But the difference between our milk and milk from the store is that you may have two to 3% butter fat mm -hmm. in 
store-bought cow's milk. Our Nigerian dwarf goats, their milk butterfat content runs anywhere from 6 to 10%. One of my favorite stories he tells is people all over the world will call him and want one of these. Yeah. Well, they fly by themselves on an airplane. They do. Put yeah. them in a little court cart. They put them down there at the luggage. $500 a ticket for the little goat to get somewhere. This so we're griping about airline business. prices? Yeah. No. Glad you're not a goat. Glad you're not a goat. I don't know. Okay, may we sample the product, Absolutely. Sir? Um, does it have to go through any kind of process? Is this right out of the udder? We were actually the first farm in the state of Illinois licensed to sell raw goat milk for human consumption. So this comes straight from the udder. It's filtered to the fridge. Did you want some too? I feel badly. No, I did not. I'm you, fine. You've had this. I have probably pl had this plenty. cereal this okay. morning. Yeah, so there you go, boo. I'm going to do it like wine. Swish it. You know what? That's really good. That's what most people say. Wow. You're a messy drinker, Julie. No, he spilt it. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, well, wait, it, it's good Good stuff. What? What don't you got? you wish we had some Oreos dip in there? I bet that's good. You it done is good, that? yes. I, I, you just There's nothing know. better for cereal either. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Well, congratulations. Wow. I mean, where where do you go from here? You're just going to have an empire before you know it. I hope so. In Nigeria and No Dwarf college goats. for you. I mean, you've got your business going. Well, I am going to college. I'm going to go to SIU next fall and study animal science, and I hope to continue okay. my career in the animal science industry and dairy goats after that. Um, and as far as the goat industry goes, I want to keep pressing forward as hard as I am now. I want to get, become an agile licensed judge uh, and just keep going forward. That's awesome. Did you see, you got to keep Oakley on hand because he yes. hel helps you bathe the babies and yes. such. It's yeah, so we cute. couldn't do it you, without you her. Couldn't. No doubt, no doubt. And when they come in the milking room, she runs them back out. She knows her job. Well, there Aww. you go. That's job cool. well done. Thank you so much for Thank coming. You. you must come back when you're yes. all those things and more. Maybe yeah. the spiel could come to Cage Little Farm. Oh. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm doing. Thank you. Thing. We'll be right back. This will give you the ability to chew and eat just like you have a third set of teeth. Over the course of the past 20 years, I became trained in implant dentistry. Those surgeries can be very invasive. IV sedation is an ideal thing for those patients that are having more invasive procedures. The doctor needs to be well trained. You need to have a trained staff to get through their appointments smoothly and comfortably. See the leader in dental implants and sedation dentistry. Hughes Dental Arts Center. And go for it. Hey guys, I'm Bailey James. I'm a musician. And I just want to thank y'all for watching today. You're the best. Sweet. It's good stuff. Boom. Awesome. Presents your on 100% original new music. Hey y'all, I'm Bailey James. I'm going to be singing a song I wrote that I'm releasing on January the 1st. Uh, this is called Swear I Was Over It. I wrote it at a time when I thought I was over a person and then I saw them with somebody new and I definitely wasn't. So. Shouldn't matter, shouldn't matter now. That you're gone, I messed it up. It's my fault, so I feel wrong to be mad. You moved on with someone new. Please hold a hand, let me hold you.
outside the worst kind of cold revenge, not at all. Say we're still kind of friends, but it's ironic because we haven't talked in months, but like each other, it's the power. Welcome to John A. Logan College. We have distanced, we have prepared, we have continued to provide services, we have reimagined how we teach. We are ready to get back to normal, but until then, we will keep doing all we can in the new normal. Don't delay your future. Register today for the Spring 21 semester. Bailey James, wow. wow. Can I just say wow? Yeah, thank I mean, you. I mean, <laughs> that's a compliment. Me. You're 17 years old and you have got lungs, but you know how to pull back and come back. And is that something you learned on your own or? No, actually, when I first started, I was singing, I was singing Whitney Houston in my room and like Mariah and all the, the big ones. And my mother was the first person who told me, you really have to learn how to hone it in. And so, they would introduce me to artists like my personal favorite, Amy Winehouse. Mm -hmm. And she was someone who did that very well. And um, she just had a lot of soul. And so, no, it, it was a learning process for sure. And you started playing guitar what age? Oh, I was like 13. I was super lazy with it. My guitar teacher did not like me because... Because your I, fingers hurt. You, well, I, <laughs> I would go there and I would be like, okay, let's play this song that I like. It would never be actually any like teaching, I would just learn the chords through playing songs, and that's how I learned. Wow, a little Pennsylvania girl mm -hmm. moves to Nashville. It was, it was a big move. I, my mom had spent her whole life there. She's a true northerner. Um, I'm a true northerner. And so the adjust to the southern ways um, was quite odd. Like what? what, what comes to mind? When people are being rude, they're very sneaky about it. They're okay. very sneaky. They're like, the whole bless your heart thing. I really didn't get it. I didn't. That's one of my favorite lines. <laughs> it is. Don't take it the wrong way, no. Um, 
I, I was at school one day, and I think I was leaving. I was still in school at the time, now I'm homeschooled, but um, it was a super hot day. And my dad was like, oh yeah, she's not used to this Southern heat. And the lady was like, oh, bless your heart. And I, was <laughs> Did like, she's, I was like, she's not being nice. <laughs> <laughs> so songwriting, you wrote the last song there in Run Girl. Yes, I did. Run Girl was like in the top 40 of the music row breakout chart. Yeah, that was my Gosh. first single out. That and is amazing. You know what? The last, the one you did on the show is going to go way up there. Thank you know you. that. That was, that was amazing. Thank you. Yeah, songwriting super like therapeutic for me. Um, outside of music, I'm a really shy person. And then when I sing, I feel like I just kind of come out of my shell. You did. Yeah. You didn't say much when you were walking around the studio. <laughs> and then you get behind that microphone and it's, ah! <laughs> yeah, that exactly. was amazing. Yeah. Um, so about this boy that broke your heart, where is he at now? Actually, um, he has a new girlfriend and I'm really happy for him. Is he back in Pennsylvania or in Nashville? No, he, he's in a whole different state. Well, but, that's good because yeah. you don't have to see him anymore. I don't. I don't have to see him anymore. No, I... For a long time, I was bitter, and now I'm, I listen to the song, and I'm like, oh, that's cute, Bailey, that you felt that way. But I'm, I'm over it. I'm on to better things. Good, so. good. What's going on in Nashville with you right now? I joined a girl group called the Highway Women um, alongside three other amazing, amazing females, and uh, that's, been, that's been a journey, uh, learning how to blend with three other females, just um, forming those relationships. And so... It's been amazing. I'm so blessed to be a part of it. You know, so many folks just have dreams to play at the Bluebird. Everyone has dreams that, that sing and, and write and play. You did it. Yeah. How did that feel? Well, I was only 11. It was my first oh, time and wow. my first trip. Yeah, and I, my uncle was down with me and he played the guitar and we played a song he wrote because he's also a songwriter. It was the energy in the room. I remember the energy in the room. I don't quite remember because it was so long ago, but I remember just feeling a lot of energy and um, just, it was a moment. It was a really, really pretty moment. I bet. Have you been back since? No. Okay. That's the crazy thing. They used to do the cattle calls where you would take the number yes. and you would wait in line. And now they don't. I don't think so. How can folks get a hold of you and your music and, and keep up with what you're doing? You can find me everywhere on Bailey James Gang. That's my handle. Bailey James Gang. Yes. Okay. I started it kind of like the James Gang, like the Funk 49 thing, um, and then it just stuck. That's so. cool. That's cool. Well, you've got a huge career in front of you. Thank you. Please remember us. Yes. <laughs> because I'll have, you, I'll have to bring my band. Please bring your band. I hear you have a kick butt band right now. Oh, they have a lot of personality to you and you would really like them. I would love that. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. We'll be right back. Stick around. Coming up later. Um, I had been sick for about eight months. Okay. Um, I was going in and out of the hospital. I was having intense migraines. So two days after the tornado, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And so that was really hard for me as well. So it was like two things happened in, in two days. And later on the show. Make sure your belly button and your spine are together and you're gonna be shoulders over your palms and you're gonna tap without moving too much of the rest of your body. Just try to move your hands to your shoulders.
And I am absolutely in love with this young lady, Autumn Grant, the kind poppy. I've been following you and the story just kept getting better and better. And now I am thrilled you are here. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm so happy to be here. Yes. Thank you for having me. You made the trip from Nashville. Yes, I did. Able to come home. This yes. was home for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the first time I've been home in a year. So I was very excited to see my family and like wave through the windows. So that yeah. was really nice. So you're a wonderful merchandiser and we'll get to that in just a moment. All of these fantastic products that you've helped to create. But you've also, um, as a businesswoman, you have had to overcome some obstacles. Let's yes. talk about your story, getting into business in Nashville, Tennessee, and, mm -hmm. and we'll work our way to yes. present day. Um, so what I'll start by is the kind Poppy. I actually named it after my dad. So my dad, his name is Michael, but I've always called him Poppy ever since I've been a little girl. Mm -hmm. And my Poppy got sick three years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, he was fighting for his life. I'm an only child. We had just lived um, in Nashville for maybe four months. Right. And he got that diagnosis. And I'm an only child and a daddy's girl. And so I felt really called to do something even when I was home in Nashville. So I started making bath bombs. And I know it was so random, but I just started making bath bombs as a medical fundraiser. Sure. Had no idea I was going to start a business or an enterprise nonetheless. And to this day, I have now made 70,000 bath bombs by hand and I get to help other charities and people like my dad. And then you know, it just makes me feel really good and like yeah. I'm doing something with my life. And at the same time, the bath bombs are actually helping the recipient because they're yeah. amazing. And uh, especially your work, you know, ensuring that it's all um, it's, it's there's no cruelty involved yeah. with testing and creation. Yeah, it's and definitely a win win. Yeah, no doubt. An ethical movement that you've been um, undergoing here. Now in Nashville, you had a store, a storefront. And yes. then that tornado came through. Yes, it did. 2020 has been really hard. It's a hard year, no doubt. <laughs> I know doubt. it's been hard for everyone, but it's been incredibly hard for me and in Nashville. And yes, so March 3rd, my business was hit by the Nashville tornado. Mm. And that was really hard to process because you just, you never think that will happen to you. Oh no, um, right, you know, you, else. Yeah, you always see Nashville like disasters on TV and your heart goes out to them, but I've never actually had to go through something before. Mm -hmm. So that was crazy. And then um, I had been sick for about eight months. Okay. Um, I was going in and out of the hospital. I was was having intense migraines. So two days after the tornado, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And mm. so that was really hard for me as well. So it was like two things happened in, in two days. Yeah. Um, oh, and then it gets better. Let me let me fill you in, you know. Yeah. Then COVID comes. Yeah. And um, we know how important family is to you. You, you can't visit with family. Mm -hmm. um, you know, customers aren't coming out. Streets are empty. Yeah. That can do a lot to one's mental health. Can oh, it? and I've always been a huge, huge advocate for mental health. And I think... Um, you know, utilizing to write love on her arms and mm -hmm. the National Suicide Hotline. I'm always sharing stuff like that, but this is definitely a year that we need our family. We need community. Absolutely. And the tornado happened and then being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and then being cut off from all of your friends and family. You know, like I said, I haven't been home in a year. Mm -hmm. So this is, I'm very excited to be here again. Thank you for having me. Yeah. But you know, to get our story out, to know that no matter what you're going through, you can still have your dreams, your desires, your hope, and you are worthy. Absolutely. And that was a huge thing for me too, to know that you are worthy despite what the world Amen. You want to throw in the towel sometimes, but that's mm -hmm. when you have to fight. Yeah, no doubt. You know, it's like we always say tomorrow will be better. There, There is, um, you know, a, a silver lining to everything and, and you will find it. And the outpouring su of support, I can't help but to think that it's just come full circle and come back to you. Mm -hmm. You've done some remarkable things now with some well-known individuals yeah. uh, in Nashville. I still pinch myself a lot. <laughs> yeah. So talk about some of those working relationships that you've had. Yeah. So um, one of our really good friends, he is the drummer for Tyler Rich. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not a huge country fan, but I will say he's really good. Check him out. He's number three on the charts. But um, we got to develop a relationship with him. And his wife, Sabina, is an actress. She's on L.A.'s Finest. And she's come and she's done a lot of support. We had the second best day of sales when she came in and just good simply deal. shared it to her story. So yeah. I think that's really cool, too. Like your voice has an impact. No mm -hmm. matter if you're a stay at home mom blogger or you are of influence, your voice matters. So I just want to really share that. Um, I've got to work with Ivana Lynch and Daniela Monet. Mm -hmm. They're big Nickelodeon and Harry Potter stars. So You're again, kind of a fan, yeah. Yes. Oh, you, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So I definitely pinch myself because I grew up around corn in Southern Illinois. Yeah, right. and, and every time I see someone and, and Carrie Underwood goes to our church. So it's just, again, it's just so cool. That's great. You know, I was looking over some of your creations and again, all meant to ease the mind and, and relax the body and such. And yeah. you were talking about the particular 
uh, soap out here, the Tennessee whiskey, and, and yes. this was a Chris Stapleton yes. connection. Talk about so, that. So um, we are located in Franklin, Tennessee, and in Franklin we have this place called The Pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the coolest concert, the biggest names come, um, Leon Bridges, Toby Keith, like all these right. amazing people. Um, my favorite was Jack White, um, that was so cool, but Chris Stapleton was here, and I, I love a good theme. And so I made a Tennessee whiskey and strawberry wine in honor of his song. There and we got go. to give it to his wife, Morgan. Um, and that. she was so beautiful and so sweet. So we've had that for three years now because it's such a staple and such a neat thing when you come to Tennessee. There you go. And you said it, it, it reminds you of what? Oh, um, like a hot man giving you a hug, <laughs> <laughs> which a is never ring. a bad thing. <laughs> it's never a bad thing. You know, it's also great. Um, you, you've had to reinvent the wheel a little bit. You know, you, you still invite people to shop. You still invite people to place those orders online. Mm -hmm. But you were reinventing the wheel. You learned about contactless deliveries. Yeah. Talk about doing so, that. So, um, like I was telling you earlier, I really feel like no matter what you're going through, always look for the silver lining mm -hmm. and always look at it as an educational time. You know, um, so when the tornado hit, I could only do online sales. Right. So I went in, I started doing, you know, online courses, looking at analytics, marketing, conversion, like anything I could do sure. to help my online. So when COVID hit, I was already kind of a month and a half into that. Great. So when all my other friends in our area were struggling, didn't know what to do, I was kind of, you know, already had the ball rolling for mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. And then I was able to help some of, you know, my local artisans and friends. So. Um, I definitely feel like no matter what you go through, always look for the silver lining. Very good. Just get up and keep going. I think that's yeah. a, a big part of it. You just have to fight for it. Yeah. And some of these products help you do that. Talk about what you've developed and, and what you see selling uh, well and what is it that your yeah. customers want? Well, I'm known as the bath bomb girl. Yes. So again, I started a business out of just pure chance um, to help my dad, but I've made 70,000 bath bombs mm -hmm. to date. Um, this is my top seller. It's the Wild Rose and Hibiscus. Yeah. Um, I've been in numerous subscription boxes. Uh, my dad and I, he was out of the recovery hospital for about six months. Okay. And we drove to Colorado to drop off 5,000 bath bombs. And he calls himself a proud poppy. So that's been really fun. That's so awesome. I'm definitely known for the bath bombs okay. and then the soaps. And um, when you come to our store in Franklin, there's so many neat things. Um, it's in environmentally friendly. It's good for your body. Yes. Um, I went to school for cosmetology and got my degree in cosmetology sciences and I realized just how much our bodies are exposed to chemicals no doubt yeah. and so you know just the way the world is um, it, that's why it's kind it's kind to the environment it's kind to your body and yes. no matter what your budget is you can have something that's good for you that is awesome and you do give um, other independent labels and such a, a place to yeah to put their products and such Absolutely. too so that's that's wonderful um, and then I think uh, the other thing uh, the beautiful thing is that with each per purchase you get that packet of the poppies yeah. and you know you're just spreading kindness yeah kindness just a simple everywhere. reminder to grow some kindness and, and spread it around like confetti i love that <laughs> so here's the deal you know if you're sitting there and you're discouraged and we've all been hit and hit again and um you you have to get up and you mm -hmm. have to keep going because i tell you what's on the other side when there's stories like yours it's just absolutely yeah. amazing and congratulations yeah and i do feel like if you go through something hard it you'll have those hard days yes you will have those hard days but I didn't realize how many people were watching me that I had no idea. And I would get messages saying, you helped me seek treatment or you helped me see that there was light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. And it's comments like that that just warm your heart. It's more than bath bombs or soap or a business. It's just community and it's so nice. So yeah. no matter what you go through, you have a chance to change your outcome. We wish you the very best. And if the spiel can help out at all, you let us know. Oh, thank all you. Right. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back. I've been coming here for years, and it's like one big family. It's a place where I can push myself. Healthy living and socializing with my friends. I walk into Logan Fitness, and I'm always greeted with a smile and someone friendly at the front desk. There's something here for all ages, and everyone is super friendly. It's a place where I can become the best person that I can be. The gym doesn't have to feel like an intimidating place. This is a little segment we like to call the nose nose. The nose nose? Yeah, Julie's I'm nose. ready. Okay. All right, we're going to see if she was paying attention. Okay. Listening, okay. Can I trust you to close your eyes and not peek, or do you need some type of a blindfold? 
I, I can do this. I can close Are my Are you eyes. sure? Mm -hmm. Are you positive? Mm -hmm. Okay, just in case though, I'm gonna have Autumn like, Autumn, why don't you come behind Julie and like okay. hold her? Like make sure she can't, cause she looks really cute like that. Okay, you ready? Ready. Julie, I want to know She's everything I am. <laughs> that you smell in this particular thing that I'm putting up to your nose. What are the scents? Okay. I'm smelling lemony. Okay. Lemon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Something really good. I don't know. But good I answer. smell lemony. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, now, are there, is there any lemon oh, in the, right? in the no. strawberry wine You're kind in of the right. Tennessee whiskey? No, but. Okay. <laughs> Julie's nose does not know. No. But oh. that's. It was a fruit, though. It was a fruit. Yeah. So in the, in the ding, same ding, 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 ding. Okay. Okay. And not like. Oh, oh man, smell. see this is one of those that just opens you right up. So what's yeah. in this one? That's the muddled mint and julep. So yeah. I know that's more of a Kentucky thing, but in Tennessee we still go on Broadway, you'll find those as well. So it has real muddled mint leaves in there. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful. Mm. Okay, anything else? The nose nose, anything? I, I think uh, we've got it. Might, I don't think she smelled that one. Did you smell, okay, this is the truffle. I don't know if you, you cannot Can eat, you eat this. Them? No, you can't. No. I knew she would It wouldn't taste very that. good. What do you, what do you send? Chocolate. What? Chocolate? chocolate? There's cocoa butter in it, but it's eucalyptus. Okay, you got it. And she, she butter. Me out, doesn't she? I think I just <laughs> saw it there. Nose. Never mind. Chef Rob here. Never forget, choose 100% dairy and accept no substitutes. Dedicated farmers, happy cows, real milk. Prairie Farms Dairy. Check out our website at prairiefarms.com. Now we have a treat for you. Yes. Okay? There she is. There's the treat. Look what a treat she is. Autumn Reynolds is here. And I tell you, here's how we came about this segment. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Um, we were at the beach and she said, come work out with me. And yeah. I'm like, oh geez, here we go. You know, come work out with her, right? So maybe 15 minutes total. Maybe, yeah. You made it that long? 15 minutes. Proud of you. Did not hurt. I did not feel like I was going to die. The next day, I felt like I was going to die. Could you walk very good? No, no. I couldn't get up the steps. I needed assistance. But you know what? That feels so good because you know it's working your body. Right. And that's so important. Mm -hmm. Did you already know? You, you probably yeah. already she knew knows this. Yeah. yeah. Dancer by trade? Yes. Okay. Yep. Singer at night? Singer at night. No, yes. don't ever expect that from me. <laughs> so what is it, you know, your body is, is you can tell. You danced for years mm -hmm. and it listens to you and it does what you tell it to do. Mm -hmm. What What's the foundation for that? Everybody can do it? Um, everybody can do it. I think it's just telling yourself you have the time and then um, it is connecting your mind and body because they're two separate things, but they need to work together. Yes. So takes less than five minutes most days to just connect the two things. Okay. How and long have you been, you how long, when did you start um, working out? Uh, I, w I played soccer. I was just fast. I didn't like, I was never good at it. Um, but I knew I liked to move. Okay. Um, so I started dancing whenever I was 10. And then by the time I was 12, I wanted to do it competitively. And I like fell in love with like strength and flexibility. Yes. And I think that's, I got to take a lot of that from dancing yes. into my working out. So, And she did say something to me that I've kind of held on to. She said, you know, so many people look at food as a, and it is pleasurable, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's also designed to take care of the body. And mm -hmm. sometimes we have to eat better things. And, and oh, stuff, so, yeah. 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 food's not really about you. It's right. about your body. Because oh, like I said, there's is. a difference between your mind and wow. your body. Okay. So, well, all right. There's, We're gonna there's move out. her body moving yeah. and, and not ours, but she's going to be recurring on the show, so you'll want to tune in to make sure you get all yeah. these great moves. Because you'll yeah. look like that. Okay. Three Thank shows. You. Yes. And it takes less than five minutes. So, okay. if you have time to make an excuse for something that takes five minutes, you need to correct that. Can you cue the music? All right. So you're gonna. St we're gonna start off. Um, every move is gonna be 30 seconds. No breaks in between. I'll let you know when you can take a break. 
Start with your hands up. You're gonna pull your knees to your chest and your arms down to your side for 30 seconds. And then after your 30 seconds is up, no breaks in between, you're gonna twist. You're gonna go opposite elbow to knee leg. The same thing, twist, twist. And you're staying in place the whole time and you're working your core and you're warming up your muscles. Get your heart rate up. And then after 30 seconds of that, I'll give you an option. This is where I'm gonna get down. Um, mat, no mat, I forgot my mat. See, like I said, no excuses. So you go down here and you either hold the plank, make sure your belly button and your spine are together and you're gonna be shoulders over your palms and you're gonna tap without moving too much of the rest of your body. Just try to move your hands to your shoulders. If this is a little much for you, don't feel bad about it. Drop your knees and tap for 30 seconds. And that works your upper body and your core. And then for the last um, thing, we're going to just squat. Squat and either jump or that's a little too much, that's fine. Here to your toes, which I call it a releve, because I'm a dancer. Releve, releve. And it's so important to not forget about all the parts of your body. Uh, pull your knees up into your thighs. And that's really what gets those muscles to work. For more exercises or anything lifestyle, find me at my Instagram. It is Autumn Reynolds with two S's, one underscore. I feel like I do have the tools and of course the education to keep pushing me. The encouragement from the staff, my advisors, they have all helped me feel ready to do the work. When I made my decision coming through Rivers for EMT school, I can say that's one of the best decisions I've made in my adult life. I got all my knowledge and everything out here through Rivers, and that's really what kind of started it. I have had so many questions about so many things, and everybody has been so nice and so willing to help me and guide me. Three Rivers College, success starts here. What I am about to talk to you guys about is just every grown man and young man's dream come true. Yes. We're gonna talk burgers, Bloody Marys. Yes. Yeah, and you're yes. excited. I'm excited. Let's, let's talk about this real quick, okay? I wanna talk about this. Well, well let's introduce him, Jim oh, Grindstaff. Gosh, yeah. She's so excited. She's been in here having Bloody Marys with uh -huh. Jim. And so she <laughs> wants to jump right into it. We wanna thank Prairie Farms for making this mm. possible. We're gonna talk about this product because it's unbelievable. But Jim, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Well, thank all you guys, the, this is awesome. All the way from the St. Louis area. Yep. Okay, you've been in, uh, You've been a restaurateur for some time, but we, we have a, a winning combination now with the, with the restaurant that you're in. Tell us where you hail from. Well, I'm from Shiloh, Illinois. That's where I live. Uh, I have a restaurant in St. Louis in okay. Soulard, which is, everybody knows, it's yes. kind of a party area. Yes. When you go to Soulard, everybody's ready to have some fun. Uh, but we do smash burgers there. Okay. And I traveled the country for a little bit to find the best burger combination. With, there you go, guys. Yeah, there lettuce, it is. tomato, onion, pickle, how it smash, is. Smash, real quick. You just smash it? Yeah, I mean, so it's, it's in smash it. four ounce pucks. I'll show you how to do it here in a pucks. minute. Mm -hmm. Yep, put it on the grill. I let the bottom side cook for a little bit, then I'll flip it and I'll smash it, show you how I do it. Okay. That's awesome. Um, and it also has my seasoning company. Yes, yes. look at there, look at there. Um, named for your son. And Jack Nolan's is. Jack yep. Nolan's, uh, your son and your nephew? Yes. Okay. So Where it's definitely a family Jack affair. Jack is your son? Yeah, my oldest son. Okay. Jack Nolan's, if you haven't, you, I mean, I know you've already heard about it. Mm -hmm. It's featured in every magazine. Uh, Veteran-owned business. Thank you so much for your service. A, a long line there, a tradition. And Mama's in the mix, too. Yeah. I love that. Yep. Okay. So the smash burger, you want to get to it because you need something to wash down, I guess. Right? Yeah. Okay. You know what? I didn't realize until we started talking with... This Bloody Mary mix is your own. Yes. This is what you serve at your bars. Yes. Right? And it has some of your rub in there. It does. It has the all-purpose rub in there. And the rim is trimmed in your rub. Yep. Oh, She's wow. super excited about I'm, the drink. This is really good. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank okay. you. I think it's a little too good. It's <laughs> Jim. good. All right. So I love what you've done here, the prep. It's, it's interesting to me. You said when you toured the, the nation and you tried all the burgers, you were looking at the lettuce presentation, the onions, the pickles. What did you arrive 
at? What is the combination here? So my, my thing is thinner the better, uh, especially with a thin patty, thin burger. Okay. Um, American cheese is king. I mean, when, king. when you're looking, Swiss is good. You know, you can put some cheddar on there too, but for a, for a burger, for me, American cheese. You know what? It. I This is great because when I hate and I eat a burger, something falls out because something's too big on it. That's perfect. perfect. And the, the greatest potato roll oh. is Martin's mm. potato roll out of Pennsylvania. Yes. Oh. They are amazing. So that's giving kudos. That's good. Yeah, you yeah. knew what you wanted. All right, let's jump in, shall we? What uh, what's the secret All right, recipe, so we'll get sir? Some, get some patties here. All right. These are specially ground for us. Oh yeah. Um, it is actually a brisket, short rib, and chuck blend. Oh, that's interesting. Which okay. is very, very, excuse me. Sorry. You're good. So I'll take the uh, Three Kings. And Three, three kings, kings is, uh, the Three Kings of cooking for me are salt, pepper, and garlic. So that's why I named it Three Kings. Okay. All right, so that's the base of it. It's got a little bit of lemon solid in there, a little bit of dehydrated onion. So we'll throw a little on there like that. We'll let the bottom get happy. I'll take the, uh, this is a burger turner. They actually call them turners. And then um, a little press here. So I'll wait a minute, kind of let some uh, juices flow and stuff like that. Then I'll flip them over and then we'll smash them with these two together. Smash you know, I wanted to say that when I was reading your bio, it was like on your off day, you are like a grill master. You <laughs> like to cook and you like to smoke things on a grill. Absolutely. You know what really caught my eye? There's so many great smokers out there. You're a Weber guy. Yes. I love that. Uh, charcoal the is the way to go. Yeah. Um, See, we're getting a little bit of crust under there. You can feel that. It's nice crust there. All right, that one's not real crusty, so we'll keep it over. That's Angie's. We always have a hot part of a grill, so we'll take this, we'll smash her down. Would you look at that? The smashing technique as seen here and featured in magazines nationwide. Actually, right, you did pretty so well in good. the Sauce magazine, a, a leader there. Mm -hmm. And Yelp, number one, I guess, if you Google Burger Place or St. Louis. How does yeah, that happen? In, in 63104, in the, in the zip code of St. Louis, we are number one in number burgers, one. which to me mm. is just incredible. And a little bit more on that side. A little bit more on that side. Love so we'll it. let this cook until you start seeing some redness come out, some, some juices flowing. Okay. Then you'll flip it again. We'll, um, we already got our okay. uh, bun set up, ready to go. Mm. We'll melt the cheese on there, and, and the actual juices from around the burger will help melt the cheese, okay. so you don't have to dome it or anything like that. This is very easy to do at home as well. Let's talk about the sauce. Yeah, sauce. So this is our, our house-made style sauce. Mm. Um, it actually has the kicking Carolina sauce in it, okay. and it's a ketchup, mayonnaise, Carolina sauce, A1 base. Mm -hmm. So it's got a little zing, a little zang. Awesome on fries. Really? Burgers. Yes. yes. How much time do you spend at or near a grill? Um... Probably, ask his wife. <laughs> probably more. Yeah, ask her. Probably more than I than I should. Yeah. But with with three kids um, and Carson, the little one, he's one. Oh. So he was a, he was a surprise. Uh, it's back to being at home all the time, you know, okay. and, and doing that stuff. So. How are you adapting with COVID? You're just meeting the needs of your clients, one customer at a time, I guess. Yeah, and and you know, right now we're 50 percent. We're open for 50 percent capacity. We okay. have a tent outside on the patio. Okay. Um, we started online ordering, which helped a little bit. Oh, perfect. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it hasn't been very, very fun, <laughs> right. but I don't think for anybody. So. Wow. No, look at that. Not at all. So you want to get that, see that, how it's clinging like that. That's going to give you a good crust like oh, that. Oh yeah. And the smash that you did kind of goes through. I yes. mean, it makes, so you can cook all the way through. Absolutely. And, and wow. our burgers are all cooked through. Like somebody will come in sometimes and say, I want my medium. We'll say, sorry, you know, it is cooked all the way through. I was so. going to ask that if you even bother with the temperature, because with the smashing, you, you have, you, you know what the end result is. You know what you're going for. Yeah. So. It's, it's going to be a burger that's done and, and juicy and delicious. And a lot of people say you shouldn't smash a burger because the juices flow out. Well, when you use a, a, a top of the line grind like this, sure. you're going to have juice throughout no matter sure. what. So. Yeah. Sure. The meat combo that you've got in there probably makes all the difference. So I like to feel a little bit, you know, you can touch, you can feel, and you know, mm -hmm. hey, that's Mm -hmm. It's feeling good right there. So what we'll do is awesome. start melting some cheese. Yes. Mm. Have to have melted cheese on Can it. Can you get single, double, triple? Yes, You just yes. stack it as high as you want. Single, okay. double, triple is uh, what, what's on the menu. Um, we've got some special off-the-menu items, secret menu items, stuff like that. Oh. So if you know, you know. You know, okay. like one of those things. Ah. Yeah, so. Can we know if you're watching the spiel today? What, what Well, we, we do doing? have a burger called the Jack Mac. The Jack what is that? Mac. Well, it's like a Big Mac, but it's our stuff. And it's got the shredded lettuce. It's got the style sauce, pickles, onion, bun in between, and it sits about this tall. So Jack, Mac. you heard it here. Yeah. Uh, the Jack go ask Mac. for it. So yeah. check that cheese out. See how the holes inside are helping yes. it melt and everything like yes. that. So what we'll do is we'll bring them over. Don't want to get anybody. Mm -mm. 
greasy here. Look at that, look at that. Let it mm. drip off. Then we'll add some style sauce. Yes. Do you still have the ones that ask for the ketchup and the mustard? Oh, absolutely, but okay. we tell them it's on a table <laughs> yeah. right next to you, go ahead and help yourself. Yeah, there so you go. So that's how we do it. Okay. We'll put the top down. You are excited, aren't you? I'm so excited. Yes. And there you I, have it. I love burgers. The Jack Nolan single. So do we just just dive in right there. in? It's you don't absolutely. worry about cutting or anything? Well, I feel badly. Would you like me to half, or are you, you're aware of what it takes? I think he's I, had, I have, he's I have had one a couple. day, actually. You, okay, here we just go. Just one? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I heard mm. crunch. Mm. Oh my. Oh, that's insane. All right. Ten. Ten. And Ten you know plus. what? That potato bread. Mm. It mm. makes it, doesn't it? This is um, so good. I think you're going to be a success. Well, thank you. Yeah, no doubt. Wow. Amazing. It, anything else? How do they get your product? How do they get the spices to yeah, try so to recreate if you, it? If you visit grindstaffrubs.com, you mm -hmm. can um, see an ugly picture of me on the front there and then scroll down. You'll see um, all the rubs available for, and I mail them myself. I'm a one-man company with that. There you go. Um, I actually have two orders I got to get out today, mm -hmm. you know, so. Um, and then Jack Nolan's, if you visit jacknolans.com, you can check it out, the menu. and Now order online. Get it when you're going through yeah, or absolutely. sit on the road or, well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, absolute pleasure. We appreciate it. This is amazing. Thank You've you. You've done it. Appreciate You've you guys for it. having me. Mm -hmm. Good job, Mom. Okay. Can you come next week? <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be right back. Thanks again. Thank you. That was a show. You know what? You had your music, you yep. had your food, you had your information I didn't know about. Well, my belly's full. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling like I want to go out and just do some random acts of kindness. Yes. There's some um, places I want to visit. Yes. There's some topics I want to learn more about now, like the Nigerian dwarf goat. I mean, can you really get enough of those? You know what? I want one for a pet now. No. I mean, Why? Right, there's some video where they're... Just absolutely darling, running around in their diaper. Well, you know what? I asked um, I asked him if you could have one for a pet. And mm -hmm. he said, well, you would have to have a diaper. I said, why didn't you bring one today? And he said, um, well, I could have. I thought I was just kind of kidding around, thinking it would run and jump on our cameras and be oh, everywhere. Oh, it would be so cute. They hop. They're just so you know what cute. he said? I don't think they run. They just, yes. He would sit there on your lap, you know, oh. like a little kid. He's got to come back now and just bring goats bring with goats. him. I mean, we watched the videos and they were entertaining, but mm -hmm. he needs to bring them in. Yes. So, you know, that's the thing. We like to keep up with our guests. We continue to follow them. Um, when they leave, we're, we're still here. Yes. We have to know what's going on in the world. And we have a follow-up to last week's guest. Yes, Tanner Trujillo. And she came up from Texas talking about... Um, the death of her daughter, freak accident, and then it went on to um, organ donations and fundraisers and craziness and, and coat drive. And well, the backpack where they are getting, people are sending tons of backpacks and they're filling them with stuff and giving them out to the homeless. Like a toothbrush, a deodorant, um, a wash rag. It's just stuff, a lip balm, stuff mm -hmm. they need that you know you don't think about take besides for their home, yeah. exactly. Little girl lives on, and the effort you need yes. to find it. It is ravenous, ravenous. reach. It's mm -hmm. the play on words there, ravenous reach. But very impressed with that family. You need to help them out if you can. And uh, go help somebody out uh, who happens to be near you. It's important. Yes. Can you help me out? Every day and every way. <laughs> See you next week.
today's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a killer shoot, and we're gonna have fun. Hey, we are getting ready to set up for an interview for the Euron segment. We just had the uh, we just had her perform one of her original songs, and now Julie's going to talk to her about like how she got started and stuff like that. What are you doing down here? You know, fixing things. Fixing things? All right, you guys, now that that show is over, we want you to go check out all of our social medias. We've got spielon.com, that's our website. We've got uh, the Spiel TV, which is on Instagram. That's where we uh, post all the cool, fun stuff that we do. We have uh, Spielon on Facebook, and we've got uh, Team Spiel on Twitter, which I don't even know anybody who uses Twitter. But go to subscribe to all of those things and uh, keep us on the air. YouTube. And subscribe to YouTube, the one that you're on right now.